Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at solving quadratic equations and I'm uh, going to use the guide number method now uh, because these quadratic equations aren't as easily factorizable. So I'm going to use the guide number method because uh, this quadratic that I have here, it just isn't as easily factorizable as uh, the simple quadratics. So I'm going to follow these steps here. Step one, multiply the coefficient of the x squared by the constant. Okay, so the coefficient of the x squared is 12, the constant is minus 35, so that's 12 times minus 35, which will give me minus 420. Step 2. Find a factor pair of, of this that add or subtract to give the coefficient of x. So I want a factor pair of 420 that add or subtract to give me the coefficient of x, which is actually just 1 in this case. So for example, a factor pair of minus 420 would be 105 times minus 4. But obviously 105 times minus 4 are not going to add to give me 1. They're going to add to give me 101. So I need uh, factors that are much closer together. So how about 20 by minus 21? Well, these are much closer together. And if I add 20 and minus 21, I'm going to get minus 1, which isn't quite what I want. So it's actually going to be minus 20 times 21. 21 minus 20 gives me 1, so this factor pair adds to give me the coefficient of x. Step 3. Rewrite the equation replacing the x term with the factor pair from step 2. So what that means is I rewrite my equation 12x squared. Now instead of writing x, I'm going to write minus 20x plus 21x. Now minus 20x plus 21x is equal to plus x, so I haven't changed the value of the equation here at all. Now I have minus 35 and it's still equal to 0. That's step 3. Step 4, factorize by grouping and then it's going to be uh, easy to solve then. So I'm going to take the first two, factorize them, Highest common factor of 12x squared minus 20x is going to be 4x. That will leave me with 3x minus 5 inside the brackets. I want to factorize 21x minus 35. Highest common factor here is going to be 7. And that will leave you with 3x minus 5 again. Now, factorizing by grouping, we're always aiming to have the same thing inside each brackets. So then I can factorize these two out again to have 3x minus 5 times 4x plus 7. And they're equal to 0. So there I have factorized my quadratic trinomial 3x minus 5 times 4x plus 7. Now it's just a matter of solving for x. So I let each factor equal to 0, 3x minus 5 is equal to 0, and 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. Over here I have 3x equals 5, so therefore x is equal to 5 over 3. Over here, 4x equals minus 7, so therefore x is equal to minus 7 over 4. And these are my two solutions for the equation. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.